Tonight, family and friends of a five-year-old little boy killed last week in a Franklin County crash came together to celebrate his life. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us tonight. And Jason, the community is really standing behind Maddox's family. Well, that's right, Shannon. That really was the main focus of the event today in Franklin County. Family and friends were trying to comfort the mother who was behind the wheel of that car that crashed into the school bus while at the same time honoring Maddox's life. The condolence messages these kids are writing and the sadness in their faces are details you can only find up close. But at this vigil in Franklin County today, distance provided the best perspective. We mourn the passing of Maddox. Friends and family of five-year-old Maddox Mason asked for that distance Sunday so people in this tight-knit community could mourn with each other with a closeness you could see from a mile away not even half a mile away at this intersection Thursday, Maddox's mom was driving with him and his brothers when her car hit a school bus after she didn't stop at the stop sign. Maddox died later that day. And little boy Maddox was a strong, strong little boy. The first to respond to the crash was Franklin County Deputy Amanda Williamson. People have been calling me a hero and all other types of things. I'm not. I don't claim to be. I don't want to be called that. That little boy was my hero. Like everyone else here, Amanda came to comfort Maddox's mom and his brothers. I'm so glad we have a community to come together in such a hard time. In times like these, you don't need to be up close to see how far this community wants their love for Maddox to travel. I know we'll never forget this little boy ever ever in our lives. I know I won't. Maddox Mason's funeral services will be held Tuesday at 3 p.m. at the Moore Courtner Funeral Home in Winchester.